Yeah, welcome back everybody. We are solving questions on bearings and distances today. A lot of students think that this topic is very difficult. But it's not. It is extremely simple. And that's no flattery. It's just a truth. In fact, you, anytime you see a question on bearings and distances, you can be sure that it's a bonus. You can take that from me. Now, before we go, before we start solving the questions, let's, let's learn the sine and cosine rules because we need them to solve problems on distance, bearings and distances. Let this be triangle ABC. Let me make the side facing angle A small letter A, the side facing angle B small letter B, and the side facing angle C small letter C. The cosine rule states that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc multiplied by the cos cosine of angle a and b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b while c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c now to the sine rule a over sine of angle a is b over sine of angle b and that's also equal to c over sine of angle c that's it we can say sine a over small a2 is equal to sine b over small b which is also equal to sine c over small c we we'll also get it's still the same thing now, straight to the questions. These rules are very important. That's why we are stating them. And that's why we are going through them first. Now, let's go to the questions. Number one. From a point on the edge of the sea, one ship is, uh, is 5 kilometers away on a bearing of south, 50 degrees east, and another is 2 kilometers away on a bearing of south, 60 degrees west. How far apart are the ships? First of all, let's see what the cardinal points look like. That's north, south, west, and east. To the right is east, to the left is west, and you have north and south this way. Bearings are usually read from the north this way. But if they don't want you to read them from the north, they will tell you, they will say south, blah, 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 east, or south, blah, 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 west. So that, then you go southeast, southwest. So that's how to read bearings. Now, this question says, from a point on the edge of the sea, let this be the point on the edge of the sea. Let me call that point P. One ship is, on, is five kilometers away. That means its distance away is five kilometers. On a bearing of south, on a bearing south, 50 degrees east. That means we are reading this bearing from the south. We are going this way, 50 degrees because this is east and this is west. So south 50 degrees, this is going to be here, somewhere around here. This is a sketch. This is 50 degrees. And this length is, this distance is five kilometers. And another ship, so this is where the first ship is. This is the first ship. That's the first ship. Let me call that point Q. Now, another ship is on the bearing of south, 60 degrees west and 2 kilometers away. So, this is south, 60 degrees west. That's the angle. 2 kilometers away, that's just going to be, that will be shorter than 5 kilometers. 2 kilometers and that bearing is 60 degrees southwest. Now, let's put four cardinal points here too. So the question is, find how far apart are the ships. I can erase the cardinal points. That just means the distance between the two ships. Let's call the point where the second one is, R. So the distance between R and Q is how far apart the two ships are. So I can see the whole of this angle is going to be 110 degrees. So the distance of the two ships apart is simply distance RQ. I want to call that small letter P. 
So using the cosine rule, p squared is going to be 2 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 into bracket 2 times 5 multiplied by the cosine of angle 110 degrees, which is angle p. I can do that easily on a calculator. You have to be careful the way you use your calculator. You can do it in bits if you are afraid of making mistakes. 2 squared plus 5 squared, that's 29. Minus 2 times 2 times 5 times cos 110 degrees. And that's 35 points. I'm doing it this way just so you don't get confused. And that simply means p will be the square root of 35.84. So square root of answer, and that's 5.987. And they say, said we should approximate distances correct to three significant figures. And that's going to be 5.99 kilometers. So that means the distance of it, that means the two ships are 5.99 kilometers apart. That's that very simply. We go to the next, which is number two. A student walks 50 kilometers on a bearing of 025 degrees and then 200 meters due east. How far is she from a starting point? If I say, if we have the forecast now point here, and I say due east, that means to go straight this way, directly, on that axis, due north, it will go this way directly on that axis, north, due south, straight this way directly on that axis, south, due west, straight this way directly on that axis, straight this way directly on that axis, west. So that's what that means. There will be a perpendicular. Now, to the question, the student walks 50 meters on a bearing of 25 degrees. Let's start from here. 15 meters on a bearing of 25 degrees. Let this be our starting point. 25 degrees will be here. We start from the north. When they say O, you are starting from the north. You only start from the south if they say south, blah, 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 east, or south, blah, 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 west. You know, they say south, give you an angle, and then east. But now they said O, that means we are starting from the north. So let this be 25 degrees. It's just a sketch. 50 kilometers. Let me make this. <coughs> Sorry, 50 meters. 50 meters. Or 25 degrees. And then 200 meters due east. That simply means from that point where she stopped, she moved another 200 meters due east. We'll put four cardinal points here. And due east will mean directly in this direction due east 200 meters so i can put another four cardinal point here now the question is how far is she how far is she from a starting point that's just the distance from where she started to where she stopped let me call this a this b and this c so this is going to be a right angle while if this angle if this angle is 25 degrees this will also be 25 degrees and the reason is that they are alternate angles because this is parallel to this so those angles are alternate angles this is parallel to this and that simply means the whole of this is going to be 115 degrees now i can easily find how far she is from her starting point. Let me call that small b. So using the cosine rule, b squared is going to be 50 squared plus 200 squared minus 2 times 50 times 200 multiplied by the cosine of angle 115 degrees. And that equals, we can do that on the calculator, 50 squared plus 200 squared. That's equal to 42,500 minus 2 times 50 times 200 times the cosine of angle 115 degrees. And that's 50,000, 50, now they are 52 points, 
three six five approximately which means b is going to be equal to the square root of that fifty thousand nine hundred fifty two point three six five and that equals square root of the answer that's two hundred and twenty five point seven two six to three significant figures is 226 226 not kilometers 226 meters so a distance from a starting point is 226 meters as simple as that now to the next number three two goal posts are eight meters apart a footballer is 34 meters from one post and 38 meters from the other Within what angle must he kick the ball if he, more, if he is to score a goal? Uh, let me just do this. Let's call this the first goal post and let this be the second goal post. See, two of them are 8 meters apart. So that means they are 8 meters apart. A goalkeeper is 34, kilometers, 34 meters from one. Let this be where he is from the first one. 34 meters and 38 meters from the second from the other and let this be where he is from the other 38 meters at what angle within what angle must he kick must he kick the ball if he is to score a goal then that's this angle this is the angle they are talking about let me call it theta how do we find that theta that's simple a eight squared is 34 squared plus 38 squared i'm using the cosine root cosine rule still minus 2 times 34 times 38 multiplied by the cosine of theta and that simply means 2 times 34 times 38 cos theta will be equal to 34 squared minus sorry 34 squared plus 38 squared minus 8 squared i just took 8 squared to the right hand side and brought the whole of this to the left hand side so it became plus 2 times 34 times 38 times cos theta now how do i make uh, cos theta the subject that means cos theta equals 34 squared plus 38 squared minus 8 squared all over 2 times 34 times 38 and I can do that on my calculator 34 squared 34 squared plus 38 squared plus 38 squared minus 8 squared that's equal to that divided by open bracket 2 times 34 times 38 you have to be very very careful when you use your calculator that's why at times you might do it and be it might be better to do it and beat 0.9814 and that simply means theta is a cos inverse of 0.9814 so second function cos Second function, no. I need to get uh, my calculator is pressing something else. Now here, um, I'm doing second function cos zero point nine eight one four. That's the sine inverse of, which is eleven point zero six eight. And that's approximately they said angles should be given correct to the correct to 0 0.1 degree so that's 11 degrees so correct to 0 0.1 degrees that's 11.1 degrees so therefore the angle within which you must kick the ball to score a goal is 11.1 degrees now to the next which is number number four Number four, city A is 300 kilometers due east of city B. Due east, that means if this is city A, let me make that straight. If this is city A, city B will be directly 
east of it. That's what it means. If they say due east or due any way, whether south, west, or north. City A is 300 kilometers due east of city B. City C is 200 kilometers on a bearing of 123 degrees from city B. How far is it from city? How far is it from C to A? Now let's go. City A is 300 kilometers due east of B. So B is what I draw first because we are starting from there. City A is 300 kilometers due east. This is B and this is where A will be. Give me the straight line that I want here. This is where A will be. It is 300 kilometers due east of B. Now, city C is 200 kilometers on a bearing of 123 degrees. City C is 200 kilometers on a bearing of 123 degrees from B. So that means we read 123 degrees from B, 123. From B to this 90. So 123 is going to be somewhere around here. So if I read this, that's 90, 123 will be somewhere around here. And city B, city C is going to be somewhere around here, not as long as 300. So this, this bearing is 123 degrees. And this is where city C will be. Since we already know that this is 90 degrees, from this place to this place is 90 degrees, then we can find this small one. That will be 123 minus 90, which is 123 minus 90, and that's 33 degrees. Yeah, that's correct. So this small one is 33 degrees. Now, the question is, from C, how far is how far is it from C to A? That means what is the length? What is the distance of this is C and this is A? That means what is distance C A? That's what it means simply. Now that's simple. I can erase this since I already know where that angle will be. Now, how do I find C A? City C is 200 kilometers on that bearing of 123 degrees from B. <coughs> now, how do I find C A? Let me call it small letter B. And that's what it means. <coughs> that's quite simple. B squared using the cosine rule. B squared equals 200 squared plus. 300 squared minus 2 <coughs> minus 2 times 200 times 300 multiplied by the cosine of angle 33 degrees you must make sure that the length you are finding you know the angle opposite east opposite that length and you know the two lengths that contain the angle like in this case i know the lengths that contain the angle 33 degrees those lengths are 200 and 300 kilometers and i know the angle they contain which is 33 degrees so i can use the cosine rule to find the length that <coughs> to find the length that faces the angle and that's it simply that's why it's good to solve as many as possible questions so that you understand how to apply the rules now so what's that i can do that on my calculator 200 squared plus 300 squared that's equal to minus 2 times 200 times 300 times cos 33 degrees and that's 29,359.532 point so B is therefore the root of the answer, 29,359.532. Square the square root of the answer, square root of answer 
and that's 170 1.35 and the cell ratio approximates distance is correct to the correct to three significant figures and that's 171 kilometers that's it very very simple now to number five number five very quickly a triangular field has two sides 50 meters and 60 meters long and the angle between these sides is 96 degrees how long is the turn is how long is the third side that's that's supposed to be simple let this be the length two sides 50 meters and 60 meters let me make this 50 and this 60 this is 50 meters and this is 60 meters and the angle between them and the angle between them is 96 degrees so this will be 96 degrees we want to find the length of the third side that's straightforward we are just still using the cosine rule let me call this x x squared will be equal to 50 squared plus 60 squared minus 2 times 50 times 60 multiplied by the cosine of the angle contained by those two lengths which is 96 degrees so that simply means let's do that 50 squared plus 60 squared that's equal to that minus 2 times 50 times 60 times cos 96 degrees and that 6727 6727.171 approximately so that means x is the square root of that value 6727.171 square root of the answer and that's 82.019 distances are supposed to be approximated to to be given correct to three significant figures and that's just 82 that's just 82 meters 82 is that meter here yeah, that's just 82.0 meters and that's it very very simply that's the length of the third side now let's stop there and then we'll continue in the next thank you very much and don't go away don't go away i'll be right back